Being true to the self. The false self is a master of seduction. It constantly offers you temporary glittering ornaments, promises of attention, acceptance, and love, suggestions of bliss-filled moments, the relief of suffering, and escape. Betrayal of the true self is made so easy as the false self tantalizes the senses, distracting you from the truth. Its attempts to sway you are everywhere. Every billboard offers you ways to get away from it all. The lyrics of most songs echo weakness and unworthiness such as gotta have you, can't live without you, life's no good now that you're gone. The airwaves and net waves pitch the satisfaction of temporary things. There's a pill for every mood, and everywhere you are urged to grab as much tinsel as possible before it's too late. The false self is the only devil that was ever invented, fabricated by your deep fear of death. Of the body, yes, but more so of the false identity you call yourself. For the false self, selling out the true self is easy. Anywhere and always, as it sleeps in the dream of hell where things constantly come and leave just as fast. To be true to the real self, you must be still and listen. It seems to speak softly, but that's due to the noise of the world's story you're used to hearing, believing, and obeying. Once heard, the sweet and simple tones of truth dilute the dream the temporary and the ephemeral showing you clearly the indescribable splendor of who you really are.